chosen a successor as first druid, oh. Francesca of the High Forest. I sent a bird to summon her. What about the other? Wrath, perhaps? Connecticut? I need her to stay focused on her training. Mm. The Grove will need a skilled healer in my absence. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. Mm. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the Grove in my absence. Very shrewd of you. And the Grove will be in good hands then. Indeed. What about the secret stronghold in Underdark? You must know more. Precious little. But I'm quite certain it can still be found. <clears throat> it can't have been easy surround surrendering your title. You won't you miss being first druid? Miss it? <laughs> oh dear no. It's a terrible burden. It takes you away from nature and forces you to deal with others' problems and personalities. <laughs> Be wary of anyone who actually wants such a role, I say. Likely they don't understand it, or they have ill intent. I'm just glad to be out here amidst the Oak Father's creations. The celebration with the tiefling before, how oh, it didn't come over too strong. There are few things that are too strong for me. And cast those regrets aside. You did not get caught up in the moment. You seized it. In other circumstances, I would have done the same. See, this is exactly what I want. I want a little bottom, and then I want to have a big, strong top. A little bratty power bottom, and a big, strong top. That's all I want. Is it too much to ask? Perhaps. But best to not dwell on nights past. There are plenty more yet to come. I thought you had Johnny. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about IRL. I'm talking about here. In my little fantasy world. In IRL, Johnny has mastered it all. It is why I am married to him. <laughs> Those illithid creatures threaten the natural order. It's my duty to do what I can to stop them. There's also the Shadow Curse. It's an affront and must be cleansed. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thormund his dark justicius years ago, but I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. <laughs> if I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse, just as you find a cure for your infection. So join me. Is that why you went with Aridin? Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Ceramorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aridin and his band. There's hardly anyone left to share the responsibility with. Few who witnessed the fall of Moonrise still draw breath. What Ketherick Thorm unleashed is not something that nature can undo by itself. I must do what I can. I studied the Shadow Curse for years, but to truly understand it and stop it, I must reach its source. The Devil with the Silver Tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales. Oop. Don't you think? He sold his daughter? For the right teacher, yes. What are your thoughts on the devil, Will? Refuse him, no matter how tempting the offer. No matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you. The cost's always too great. Uh, don't worry, I have no interest in the devil's death. That's because you still have hope. But when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with. And then require more still. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure. 
But the devil won't take just anything. He will take everything. Eesh. There's something I've been wanting to share with you. If now's a good time. I'm all ears. It's difficult to put into words. I think it might be easier to just show you. Use the tadpole. The connection. Come into my mind. Are you sure? I'm sure. I trust you. What am I going to see? Use the parasitics for her mind. I don't remember how it started. Only how it ended. I was fleeing. My name. I can't remember what I said. I can't remember anything before those words. All I know is she saved my life and gave me a new home with Lady Shah. <laughs> it hurts. That's all I remember. No wonder you're so dedicated to Shah. You feel like you owe you owe your life to her. Lady Shah. But yes, her and those who saved me and taught me her ways. The Mother Superior. She made me who I am. At least as best as I can remember. She taught me trained me punished me when i failed her which was often i've been so important to her perhaps i was she sent me on this mission after all i'm intrigued when halson mentioned dark justice cars before i was he mentioned dark justices and we've come across other signs of a Sharon presence during our travels. I'm not sure I can dismiss that as a coincidence. Wait, what go what's going on with you? My condition is worsening again. I need to consume some powerful magic or it may become volatile. Thank you. That's your deal, motherfucker. What are you doing? I want to see what's under experience. that. What is this? Each time anew, I curl. Lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. But this doesn't feel quite right. I mean, it never feels right, but it relieves. This doesn't relieve. Oh. Mm. You're right. Is there anything I can do to help you? You do plenty for me, more than you realize. But this cannot be remedied. The magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time, like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire. It merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle, the fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to. Retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think. Thank you 
for the artifact. The great deal of trouble it was, too. I need a quick word. Who, who's there? Please, keep your distance. You're welcome to shelter here, but we've grave injuries to tend to. What is whispering? Who or what attack? The devil. The most deadly foe we've yet encountered. We are paladins of Tyr, Lord of Justice. He sent us after an infernal being, straight out of the Nine Hells, hiding in the form of a one-horned tiefling. Oh. She slaughtered countless refugees fleeing the Absolute. Yesterday, she butchered an entire family without mercy. We were lucky to survive our encounter with her. Where is the devil? She ran toward the river when she saw we were merely wounded, not dead. Down the hill from here. She must pay for her crimes. If you capture her, you will have served here where we could not. I'm not serving sh This is shite. the sword of justice, blessed by Tear. I've wielded it since I swore my oath. It's all I have, but it's yours if you stop her. Bring me her head, and Tear will consider her crimes repaid. Let's on my mind. One horn. This is the devil will and the paladins of Tear want dead. Are you all right? <laughs> Me. Never been better. Oh, fuck me. It's you from the Nautiloid. Please tell me I found you before those so called paladins of Tear did. third degree burns from her but it will all be worth <laughs> where were you now that's a story and i'll tell it to you but truth be told we shouldn't stay here too long see these paladins of a great heat roars through you her heat fiery as the hells then you're lost in visions of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood the blood war you saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. What's that? It's a doubt ball in your head. Connect us. Fuck's sake. Mountains as far as the eye can see. I'm sad. Guess that explains the voices. From that peak I got into your head, you've made some inroads trying to get the thing sorted. But alas, no joy. I'm Karlak, and you are a bottom. Uh, uh, I'm uh, I'm I'm dead. I'm a, I'm a, a de I'm Denetrix. Well met, soldier. Now that we're old pals, how would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? Uh, yeah. Girl. A little background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good at killing demons. Really good. So good, Zariel, the Archdevil herself made me her personal attack dog. Ooh. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. It took me ten years to properly escape, but now I'm free. Zariel sent goon after goon to hunt me down, but believe me when I tell you, I'm not going. The latest yappy little dog she sicked on me are nearby. A group of dopes posing as paladins of tear. Want to help me take them down? Oh, that's what they are. Send them back where they came from. Fuck yes. They cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. <laughs> Don't they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. After we've mopped them up, we can work on evicting this parasite and take Faerun by the short hairs. Yeah. Sound good? You want to just team up with some blood-stained killer? Because I'm fine. <laughs> Like 
me for real. <laughs> Sounds like a great plan. I'd hug you if it wouldn't scorch your skin off. I would. I don't mind. Hang on though. I mean, Looks like you got enough backup at your side. Not sure there's room for me. I'll catch up with you when it's time to camp for now. Ma'am, please. But don't get to any of the fun stuff without me. Oh my got god. It? Yeah, mommy. Oh. I'm I'm just I was just I'm just a tiny girl. I'm just I'm little. I'm petite. I'm small. <laughs> a piece. <laughs> Uh, Gail, yeah, get the fuck out. You need to, you need to get the fuck out of here. Honestly, both you and Shadowheart, you can leave. It's not you. No, it's actually you. But also, mommy, daddy, and a brat. Yeah, that's exactly. That's 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 the perfect little combination that I have there. She's like, let's kill a bunch of like religious men, and I'm like, bet. Where's the camp? Oh, I can just. Long rest, short rest, go to camp. Okay. I didn't know that was an option. I thought the only way for me to go to camp was just like a haba. Uh, uh, Gail, how about you like fuck right off? An ally fresh from the hells themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Our company grows stranger by the minute. Yep. And all the better for it. Right! I needed to remain. I question the wisdom of that decision, but no. so be it. Don't question my wisdom. I, I don't care. Mommy, I'm here. I'm here. Mommy! What's the story? <laughs> ah, kicking my feet. <laughs> so how did you end up fighting in the blood war? Um... Trust me, I'll tell you all about it after we take care of the goons oh, okay, on my tail. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Come on, we're heading out. Hell yes. So she's a she's a bow barbarian, right? She's a bow barbarian. It's a big bow. <laughs> oh, wow! I want her to bully me so bad. <laughs> You brought her here. Yeah. We won't survive another assault. Leave us in peace, and we shall leave you in kind. Cut the crap, Anders. I know what you are. Don't let her hurt us. Please. We just want to go home. I do what mommy wants. <laughs> you can drop the act. I know you're a servant of Zariel. Zariel? Certainly not. We serve Tyr, Lord of Justice, no other. Please. Mercy. Half of us are badly injured, the other half dead. I admit, we ambushed you. An assignment from our gods, Tyr. We thought you a devil, and with your flames you proved us right. But Tyr will not consign us to our death. He is merciful. <clears throat> leave us, and we'll leave you. Enough! Enough! I'll not play pretend anymore, Karlak. You're going home in pieces of needs must. And you, you'll soon learn what it means to ally yourself with the likes of this garbage. Oh! Avernus was never my home. It was my prison. I'm free now. And I'm never going back! You tell them, mommy. Slay. <laughs> Bye. Fuck. Sorry. She couldn't even lay a finger. <laughs> Felt good letting off a little steam after facing off with those ignots. Granted, the fire lasted a little longer than it should. I like the look of it. Careful, soldier. If I burn any hotter, I might explode. Hear that? Infernal engine for a heart. Let's me burn as hot as the hells. Seems to be running in overdrive since I left Avernus. Won't be seeing my mechanic anytime soon, so I'll just make the most of the extra heat. Just don't get too close till I've found a way to calm it down. How the hells did you get an infernal engine for a heart? High pain tolerance and a dynamic duo of truly shitty bosses. 
But it's a bit early in the game to be getting into tragic backstories. <laughs> Let's save the Scar show for later, after we've worked up an appetite for tragedy. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll need to find someone who can tune up my engine sooner rather than later. Believe me when I say this thing is hot. The first time I faced down those paladins, they let slip there was an infernal mechanic in the area. A tiefling. Hmm. He might be able to stabilize things, if I can find him. There are some tieflings holed up in Druid Grove nearby. We might look at... we might look there. Sounds like a good lead. Hopefully our guy will be among them. A tune-up would do this old tub a world of good. <laughs> I'm actually not against this at all. Yeah. That's nice. We're so gay. I love it. Look at him! <laughs> I suppose you want to hear about Kazadu. <laughs> yeah, I would like to hear about him. He said he was your master. My old master sorry yeah before the mind flayers took me from him before this strange twisted freedom Kazdor Zar is a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate oh the patriarch of his coven and a monster obsessed with power not political power or military power I mean power over people the power to control them completely he turned me nearly 200 years ago I became his spawn, and he became my tormentor. Tormentor? What did he do? He had me go out into Baldur's Gate to fetch him the most beautiful souls I could find. It was a fun little ritual of his. I'd bring them back, and he'd ask if I wanted to dine with him. And if I said yes, he'd serve me a dead, putrid rat. Of course, if I said no, he'd have me flayed. Hard to say which was worse. Poor baby. I'm terrible. I'm sorry. Thank you. But this isn't about sympathy. It's about knowing what we might be up against. The Mind Flayers aren't the only monsters out there. And they might not be the only ones hunting us. All I'm asking is that you keep your eyes open. And watch out for anything lurking in the shadows. I'll watch your back, don't worry. What more could I ask? <laughs> now, is that all? What do I make of Raphael's deal? I won't lie. It's tempting. If I keep the tadpole, I risk transforming into a grotesque monster. If I lose the tadpole, Kazador has control of me, body and soul. And I return to the shadows. It's grim either way. So why not sell what's left of my soul to a devil? Better he has it than Kazador. I have other options. Better options. Figuring out what's happening to us, confronting a god called the Absolute, and then finding time to kill my old master before he can control me once more? Yes, that's an option, but I wouldn't bet a on it. Um, I also wanted to see myself in the outfits, though, because I didn't see it. Damn! Look at me! Finally! More oh. are coming. Who? What in the hells are you? They're coming. They're coming. Who's coming? Tell me I'm not imagining no. that voice. Something's coming. And if it lives down here in the dark, it won't be anything good. They are coming. You are coming. We're all coming. Okay. Can we get to the point? Who's coming? Tim asks. Known to cause confusion. What? Best not get too close. Yeah, okay, great. Not too late for that one.
I did not sign up for this. At all. He told me that it's safe to walk under. In the tunnels. Through the thing. I'm not in a good position to be fighting that right now. Oh, but I see a sword. You. Slender drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil. Leave. <laughs> I will not fuck with that sword. Slender drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil. And she got strength. Feels like you're warring with ten people for the blade, but with another hard yank, the weapon slips free from the stone. God, she looks so good in that outfit. Timask, the spores confuse the senses. Not sure what the other mushrooms are. What if I? That worked. Kavadinka, how is your experience with the game so far? Um, I can't stop playing it, which is a really big problem. That's probably the biggest problem I have with the game. It's too fucking addictive. Too addictive. Like, I just want to keep playing. What's up there? Nothing good, that's for sure. Oh! See, if you see this circle anywhere, you don't stand in it. Don't ever stand in the circle. If you are in a forest or anywhere and you see this, do not go near this. Every Slavic person, Nordic person will tell you the same. You don't say a word around it. You turn the other way and you never look back, okay? Nice. Nope. Nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Uh-huh. Fake wall. What's on the other side? Fuck. Nope. 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 You don't fuck with the fae. I don't want to fuck with the Fae. I do not want to fuck with the Fae. Fucking with the Fae is the last thing you want to do, and I do not want to fuck with the Fae. Oh no. Hey, something bit me. Just an insect. I'm sure you'll we survive. We are in the realm Besides, of the Fae. It probably figured you. Treat. Give me an abalef over a midge any day. Please tell me we're not in the land of the Fae. I don't want to be in the land of the Fae. Arcane barrier. I'm not fucking with arcane barriers. There's a reason why there's an arcane barrier there. I will not steal anything in here. That is the last thing I'm gonna do. Fucking with anything or anyone in here. Okay. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Aunt Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. Goldilocks? Who you? is this? A friend of yours. No, no, I don't know him. Come now. Aren't you going to introduce yourself? No. Cute and secretive. You're too much, Petal. Feel free to relax yourself and have a cuppa. No, don't eat anything and don't drink anything. Gods grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. Who are you? I have many names, Petal, but Aunt Ethel will do. People in dire need travel from all over Faerun to see little old me. 
And I do my damnedest to help them. And you, Petal, well, you need a lot of help. That wriggler swimming in your brain juice is a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? That's none of your concern. No, but it is yours. And if I were you, I would be very concerned. Mm. I can tell you're almost done cooking. You know, you could turn just like that. What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? No. I know a devil that's offered to remove it as a such a chad move. A devil? <laughs> Spare me. Blathering windbags in love with the sound of their own voices. I'm the safer bet. Plus, oh. you'll get to keep your soul. Ah, oh, how cute. I'll take my chances on my own. Ah, good luck with that. Thanks. But don't you fret, Petal. I'm sure you'll make a very pretty mind flayer. Thanks. Thanks.